It looks cooler from the back. What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're gonna to take a look at the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the Google Pixel 6 Pro and these are the two flagship newest phones so we're gonna take a look at the cameras, we're gonna do some video, we're gonna do some ultra wide, we're gonna do some main, we're gonna do some telephoto and just kind of see what it looks like. Obviously they're not the exact same focal length but we're just gonna go out and shoot and see what we get. So I just want to take a few minutes here to go through some of these images. I want to show you just some more detail of the Pixel 6 as well as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And then I kind of want to show you some RAW files because I think that's where the Pixel 6 really shines is when you're shooting in RAW. So um, obviously we had this shot here at the very beginning. I'm going to compare them here. The Pixel is going to be on the right and the iPhone's on the left. And as you can see right off the bat, the iPhone is just like perfectly exposed where the pixels just cranking the exposure and all the shadows. Like look at the trees down here. Uh, it's just, that's not what it looks like in real life. So it looked more like, like what the iPhone looks like down here. So the iPhones crushed the shadows a bit, which just makes more sense because that's how it actually looked in real life. Now when it comes to detail, I think that the pixel either is over sharpening everything or this main lens is actually a little bit sharper, but overall they're both good images but the iPhone just looks more true to life. Now taking a look at this shot of the skyline here, um, I think that the Pixel has way more detail in this shot. I don't know if that's just because it's over sharpening or there's actually just more detail, but obviously we're punched in a little closer here than the iPhone. Um, if I zoom in even more, I'm gonna go along the shoreline here and just show you a bit of the detail here. If you look at the detail in the buildings down here and just like the beams and stuff, clearly the Pixel has way more resolution than the iPhone. Now when it came to this shot here, this is the telephoto lens, and I think the telephoto lens on the Pixel is better than the iPhone's telephoto lens. We punch in here, you can see quite a bit more detail. Again, I don't know if it's just over sharpening, but some of the stuff actually is legit detail. Uh, if you're looking in these window cells here, you can see like the extra edge here, where if you look at the image here, you don't see that on the iPhone. So the iPhone isn't nearly as sharp, and like even up here in the windows, obviously I'm punched in a little closer because the Pixel 6 Pro is four times zoom, so it has a little bit more range, but that shouldn't change the actual like detail that you're seeing here. So I definitely think that the Pixel 6 Pro's telephoto lens is quite a bit better. It's nice and sharp, it's got lots of detail, and uh, that's kind of a good comparison there. 
So now I want to move on to portrait mode. I only took one portrait shot with the Pixel 6 Pro versus the iPhone when we were out doing that shoot, but I kind of just want to punch into that video and just show you what my commentary was and what I thought of it. Okay, so 3X soft to be 2X on here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, hold it. iPhone shot, Pixel shot. They're like completely two different looks. Yeah, I like the, the blur on them. Wow, it's totally different. I like the blur on the iPhone and the way your skin looks, but I like the colors of the Pixel better. The hair is different. Look at the hair. Oh, yeah, I look blonde. <laughs> and the other thing is, too, the iPhone is showing it in real time where the Pixel isn't. See that? Yeah. You're going to have to hold this because I'm going to switch phones, okay. right? So here we go. Three, two, one. That's iPhone portrait. Hold it. This is Pixel portrait. So yeah, what we noticed was that the colors were pretty accurate on the Pixel 6 Pro, but that, like I said, they just cranked the knob to 11. Everything's sharp and punchy. Um, as you can see here, it's like adding extra skin texture in the Pixel that the iPhone just smooths out. Like this, the iPhone has a lot more flattering skin tone than the Pixel. Like, look at the hair, it's just like crazy crunchy. I'd say overall they did pretty well the same on the cutout job there, going around the edges of the hair. But yeah, just look at the sharpness, just over crank sharpness on her skin and it's not flattering. It just, she said it was bringing out texture that didn't even exist. And like, like I said, this looks more like real life, like how her skin actually looked. So I'd say that the iPhone definitely has a way better portrait mode. And I think that a lot of people that have been reviewing the Pixel have said the exact same thing. Now let's jump over to night mode because this was another interesting result because the Pixel was always kind of better at doing night mode, night sight. And the iPhone's definitely caught up. If we punch in here on this image right here, again, pixel on the right, it looks more true to what it actually looked like in person. Like, I don't know why it was so blue on the pixel. Um, this is not how it looked at night. It was more of kind of a purpley color in the sky. Again, it looks like there's more detail on the pixel, but I don't know if that's just because it's over sharpening the shot. But if that's something you want, like to have a nice sharp image, the Pixel's definitely gonna be better for that. Now, all that said, obviously the iPhone, in my opinion, has always looked more natural than the Pixel. If you shoot raw on the Pixel, that's where you open up all the capabilities of the cameras. So I've got a couple of raw shots here. So the iPhone, when it comes in as a raw file, looks almost exactly the same as what the JPEG looks like. But the Pixel, on the other hand, looks so flat. So I'm gonna have to go in here and change the Pixel to something a little bit more contrasty. So the cool thing is we can adjust all the raw settings on the pixel so our white balance can be a little bit warmer and bring down the highlights. I would bring down the shadows, maybe boost the dehaze a bit. And again, I could warm it up a little. Maybe add a little bit more contrast. So in my opinion, that looks better than the iPhone now and that's literally what it looked like that night when we shot this and you'll also see that there's a little bit more noise in the shot which i actually like i like that there's a bit more noise i feel like it makes the picture look a little bit more realistic and it's just the way that the iphone processes the noise just looks kind of <laughs> mushy i called it mashed potatoes before and uh the pixel has always done a good job of leaving a bit of noise in there and it keeps the image looking realistic and that's where i'm saying like if you're going to shoot photos on the Google Pixel and you're gonna like take the best shots you can take, you gotta shoot them in RAW. I don't know how I feel about either of them. I think they're both good in their own way. What do you guys like? Do you like the iPhone better or the Pixel better? Again, I think I'm leaning more towards the iPhone just because of the colors, but if you're shooting RAW on the Pixel 6 Pro, you're gonna get a really, really nice image. In my opinion, I think the RAW is better on the Pixel 6 Pro than it is on the iPhone 13 Pro. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.